Good afternoon. It is Wednesday. We are headed to the Magic Kingdom tonight. It's only open until 7, so we're really going to try and get out the door right when Peter's done with work. So I am starting dinner now. Peter went to Aldi yesterday. With everything we have going on, I could not even think of meals to make, so I was just like, get a bunch of veggies, get a bunch of rice and quinoa and pasta, and I'll just whip stuff up. So, roasting veggies now, gonna cook some rice, and I'll show you what I come up with. Jamesy boy wanted to say hi too. are the baked veggies I decided not to do the air fryer because they get a little too crispy and I wanted them to like keep their size um, so I just put zucchini and onion some red potatoes and a green pepper um, olive oil salt pepper and then I did everything bagel seasoning because I had it thought why not so I just made a bed of rice salt pepper and lime juice and then just top it with the veggies and then I'm gonna put this peanut sauce this is like one of my favorite things ever it's three three I would say tablespoons or like just big spoonfuls of peanut butter and then probably like half a cup of water probably a half a cup of soy sauce and then half of a lime's worth of juice mix it all up kind of have to make like get the consistency right but that'll be on top guess where we are Yes, yes, there's lots of trees. James loves the trees. The Polynesian. The Polynesian. And guess who's welcoming himself to the vlog? Me. Peter boy. I had a big day at work. It was my I had to go to the office. Wow. And I cleared up my desk. Here's a bunch of footage. Here we are at my desk. Most of it was already packed up, but I've got other stuff that I need to pack up down there and things I need to empty. And uh, pack up the rest of my stuff and I'll be done with this desk. Kind of crazy. Not leave these two here. They had to come home. There it is. An empty desk. Got my bags of stuff right here. Empty drawers and everything. Feels very strange because I'm not leaving the company, but I'm leaving the building. Kind of setting in it. It feels real that it's going to be 100% remote. But it's just another one of those things that feels strangely it's not like i'm quitting my job but i've got all the all my stuff from my desk it's weird that this is only the second time i've been in this building since march of last year when everything shut down and today's the day we officially changed our name from Wyndham destinations to travel and leisure group so that's exciting but i gotta get home before my next call in about 40 minutes he didn't know we were right next to SeaWorld. There's the HR building there. Dolphins are right over there. And here's my parking garage. It's weird. Like I know I'm gonna come back to the building because I'm still working for the company. I'm like, they could fly me down to do meetings or projects. I could still come back to the office for short periods of time. Surprise, Sarah didn't know I had footage, but we're going to Magic Kingdom. We gotta Yay! bounce. But we're starting oh, here. We're missing the boat, shoot. <gasps> the park closes in for 50 minutes, five zero. Um, parking at the Polynesian was not the best idea for the use of time considering the park closes at 7. But, look who's got a cute hat on. He's about to go on the boat ride. We're waiting for the boat now. But literally as we walked up to the, what is this, pier? It was pulling away. And there's, apparently there's only one boat going tonight amongst the Magic Kingdom water resorts. Big old kid in the Magic Kingdom with 25 minutes left before park close. Check this out. So we're at the firehouse, which used to be the, the old like 
pub where you'd go to get your sorcerers and magic kingdom. Look at this. And the fire department engine number 71 on display. Oh ho. You see that James Eagle? Is that cool? Well, <laughs> our plans have instantly changed. Right, James the boy is asleep, so we're just gonna stroll. Yeah, and we thought we'd go on a couple of rides with him awake. But literally, right when we got into Magic Kingdom, he's like, I'm home, uh -huh. I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> um, but Magic Kingdom isn't as, like, loungy, I guess is one way of putting it, than Epcot, because like Epcot, you can stroll. I think it might have to do with the fact of International Gateway. Yeah. You can stroll through Epcot for literally hours, hours after park yeah. close. Magic Kingdom on the other hand, within like 10 or 15 minutes of park close, they start sectioning off sections, which I get it, because like customers gotta go home, it's yeah. end of the night. But because of that, we're not able to like lounge around, just like mosey around the, the land. So tonight we're just gonna mosey through New Fantasy Lands, Storybook Circus, and get into Tomorrowland before park close. Yeah. So we and can just maybe, soak it up and then hang out on Main Street. Yeah, Main Street or Hug Grass or something fun. Because that's open until 8. Yeah, we're at the point where we just want to soak things up. It doesn't matter if we can get on all the rides. It doesn't matter. We I told eat all Sarah, the snacks. Like, we just want to be here. I just want to look at stuff and I want to know that the things I'm looking at feel that I love them. Like the cracks on the wall. I just yeah. want to look at the crack and be like, crack, I love I you. I love you. And I want crack to look back at me and be like, I know, Peter. I know. Say crack again. Crack. James Boy, one day we're gonna run through this splash pad like a bunch of wild animals. Yeah. He has the cutest little Dumbo outfit on. I'll show it when we get home. Look at how asleep he is. He's just so he is, at peace. He is out. And I was like hoping we'd go on Dumbo. Look at the little feathers on his pants. But we could have probably worked plans. it out where we could have gone on Peter Pan and one other attraction with the white yeah. when we got here. But literally like we were like Sarah and I were discussing what attractions to go on. And we looked down and he's like, <laughs> we're like, oh, we're just gonna stroll. <laughs> Look at these beautiful blooms. We're right outside of Adventureland. I'm sure these only bloom a certain time of year because I've never seen it like this. They're more pink in person. Do, 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 do. He woke up for some hubgrass time. The hubgrass also feels fresh and new. Like, I don't know if it's new hubgrass or they like put some fertilizer on it. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. That looks like it's new. So we it's, just... like, it's like more plush. It's getting chilly. Hindsight compared to the rest of the country it's not. Um, we've been here for what do you think, 30 minutes so far? Yeah. Just staring at this beauty. Jimmy Boy is having a snack. And we're lounging on this fresh hub grass. Trying to resist the tears of that are welling. There they are, just chilling. Happy. James is probably the warmest of all of us. <laughs> yeah, actually I'm pretty cozy myself. Yeah. I need to, at least I almost didn't wear the sweatshirt. It was like, it's Tommy Bahama. But uh, I did. It's just like so weird to think about us moving because it's like we're living a dream. Yeah. But not all we dreams said, are the like, same. Imagine like the best Disney trip ever. You're getting, you're about to get on the Magical Express. Like, it's true. We've just, we've, every second we've lived here, we've lived to the fullest. Minus the year of COVID, but even then, like, but even then, we did we've our lived very it to the fullest. Like, like, have you guys seen our recap video of 2018? It was 2018, right? Sarah will put the link down below. Like, everything we did, and then Sarah made that awesome video. It's just like, we lived life to the fullest, and we still are going to. It's just like yeah. a different kind of life. Yeah. And we're still gonna share it, and we're still gonna document, and like, every day is gonna be incredible. It's just gonna be different. Like, that's the best, the, the only word I can come up with. I was telling them, um, I ran into my chief brand officer of my company today because he was in the office doing like PR calls because of the the, the new n name change we had in our company, um, the Travel and Leisure Group. Um, and he's an old Disney guy, and so he didn't know we were moving, so I was talking to him about it, and he's like, well, are you going to come back? I was like, yeah, we'll come back. Like, we already have like a, a, a June trip planned, a June, like, that's not far. 
June trip and a couple of fall trips and a couple of spring trips and we might just buy a house or something down here too. I don't, I don't, I don't know. He's like, oh, so you'll be back. Like, you know it. And he's like, maybe we'll fly you down for some work trips. And I was like, gladly. We did decide we're walking back, so I think we're gonna start packing up. Walking back to the Polynesian. From here. From here. I thought we said that. I thought it was a possibility. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe we're not yet. Hold on. So we are going to walk. Yes. We decided it would be the easiest, and yeah. that way we get a little Grand Floridian magic in. A little, little, little flavor. This bridge is bright. Bridge right enough. To... <laughs> have to cover James. <laughs> He does this super cute thing where he's just like, ah. <laughs> He's a little monster. Yeah. But like a happy monster. <laughs> do the brook hearts know how to milk it? Or do they know how to milk it? Yeah. It just smells so good in here. Yeah. It does. We were like thought like maybe there was an 845 session for Wes or if one of the cleanest. It's definitely been late sessions in the past. Sessions, not sessions. A late sesh. Because you're a cool cat. But Snaps. We had really good last times with Wes here, like when you he worked here and when we just happened upon him. So. Yeah. <sighs> Time to walk to the poly. Show your Dumbo shirt. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. oh gosh, you got the you got the camera. <laughs> One eternity later. Look at these two. Uh -huh. Oh gosh, we have another sleepy one over here. I think this is where I started the vlog today. Um, we've been obviously home for a while now. It is not a good time. I will not even tell you what time it is. It's so late. Um, but we did some dishes. We did some laundry. We did some cleaning. Um, just feeling good in the middle of packing um my godmother is also coming over tomorrow so we wanted to have it like the apartment ready for a guest but also like the reality of us moving everything packing everything um so yeah that's where we've been i'll do the message and sign off so i think we read the 17th yesterday but it's the 17th today so the 16th is Always keep your beautiful imagination and exquisite humor. Rebecca Poik? The camera battery died. Mm -hmm. Can you tell that I didn't know how to pronounce the last name of that of that person? What was it? P U I G. P U I G. Poik? Poig. The English language. Poig. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.